Hello. Today we have a helm story adapted from Barbara Diamond Golden's 101 Jewish Read Aloud Stories. The time had come to blow the shofar and end the holiday at last. With a great, great blast of tekia gedolah, the people would be released to go home and eat and celebrate another New Year and another Yom Kippur gone by. However, as always in Chelm, this had been a very controversial moment. You see, everyone in town had wanted to be the one to blow the final blast and usher in the beginning of a new year. The rabbi had interviewed each in turn. Let us have the most holy blow the shofar, he proposed. Tell me, what will each of you think as you blow it? One man said, ah, I will imagine the angels looking down on us all. The next said, I will think about the congregants and pray that they all be accepted for a new year, redeemed, kept safe and happy. Ah, said another, I will not be thinking of the angels or the congregants, but thinking only of God. The rabbi nodded and went down the list and heard many, many similar answers from many men and women. At last, he came to the milkman. And what will you be thinking, he asked. The milkman stroked his beard and shrugged. Ah, he said, you see, I have four daughters to marry off and no dowry for any of them and no idea how I will bring it about. It is my constant worry day, night, morning, evening. So while I might try to clear my mind and think of something holy as I blow the shofar, I fear my mind will still be on this terrible puzzle. Ah, said the rabbi, an honest man at last. On this holiday, when all of us feel our bellies grumbling, all of us are tired after the very, very long service. All of us have tried to keep focused, but it is indeed such a long night and then day. You at least, I can be certain, will have your mind where you say it is. And so he was the one to blow the shofar. <laughs>